Working with the WIC program in Puerto Rico to help the program improve um, how the, the way they deliver the nutrition education to their participants in order to prevent childhood obesity. So since I started this program, uh, I have really applied all the steps of the community-based participatory research, you know, the process that we have done, and that has helped re really help open up to what really the problem is and how participants perceive the problems and how the program wants to um, try to solve the problem. So it has been really a, a great experience to not see it through the lens of a researcher in terms of what I, what I think, uh, I, I believe it's what's needed, but what the real problem is and looking at it at the lens of the different stakeholders of uh, the WIC program. It, it also changed the way I even teach and do all kind of research as it has profoundly affected how I really look for the input of, of my students and other um, researchers and other participants that I will be doing um, projects on and even in my community trying to figure out what my neighbors and our community needs are. So that has um, changed a lot. Um, also another thing that has changed is the way that I start caring about other issues that I didn't know about. For example, I never thought about housing or youth violence or equity or diversity and those things. Now I start caring about those things because I've been exposed during this program and now I'm even part of the diversity um, and equity um, committee in my um, in Florida International University where I work for. So it seems like I've been like open a box in which now I care about so many other things and sometimes it's overwhelming but um, just take it uh, take it just um, one step at a time. So in the culture of health I see um, every child being born in an environment where they can thrive, they have access to healthy foods and um, social support and, and equity and diversity and they thrive and they don't have, and we have no obesity and no other chronic health conditions and they have housing and they have, um, they are not exposed to violence so they can thrive and be um, healthy um, adults later in life.